Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the top 3 questions from the latest Ad Coder Beginner Contest 178. So let's start. The first problem, not, it's a very simple problem in which you are given an integer x and you have to determine that if that integer is 1, you have to output 0 and if that integer is 0, you have to output 1. So that's a very simple question. You don't need a code for it. You just input what's the number and output according to it. So that's the first question. The second question is in which you are given a, b, c and d and you have to find out x and y such that x is between a and b whereas y is between c and d and you have to hold this conditions and have to find out the value of x into y. So x can be between these two numbers and y can be between these two numbers and they are up to 10 to power 9 from negative to positive. So now the main thing can be there are few cases. Let's assume that this is one uh, like range and this is another range. If both of them are positive, what you can see like this is 100 and this is also 100. It's always beneficial to like multiply the top numbers. But if like the if this number is like minus 1000 and this number is also minus 1000. So now it's better to multiply the top two negative numbers. Okay, but there can also be a case as that. Okay, both like uh, one thing is negative. One range is negative, one range is positive. Uh, or like both of them are negative and same in the other case if this happened like you just take out the both negative values okay but if one of them can be zero also so you just have to match out them so the matching values can be just take out the extremity value so the thing here is this is a let's assume this is b this is c and this is d so multiply and find out the maximum among b into d if you take these two extremities or a into c or b and c you can match or a and d you can match so like you can take these extremities and find out the maximum among all of the four values and that's the answer so this is the very simple code in which uh, because you have to find out the maximum initialize the maxi with a very negative value and maximum is the maximum value among all these four values and uh, the third question is a pretty good question in which you are given like you have to find out the number of possible sequences of length n which satisfy these three conditions such that ai is between 0 and 9 and there should exist some sequence in which there is 0 and there is also 9 what does this mean i will tell you with an example so let's assume that you have to find out a sequence of length 5 now there should be at least one zero and at least one nine you cannot form a sequence which doesn't have any zero or doesn't have any nine or like a sequence with zero only and a sequence of nine only is also not possible so you have to ensure that both nine and zero are present now the first thing which comes to my mind is okay because you have to put nine and zero at least once now what you can do you can choose from these five position 5c2 just choose these five posi two positions from this and then place out these values such that I will place 1 9 here and 1 0 here and then the rest of the positions you have 10 options because you can fill any of the 9 positions you can fill like from 0 till 9 you can fill any option so there are 10 10 10 options here so the total is uh, for choosing this out it is n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so it is like nc2 and then into because the rest of the numbers are like n minus 2 so the power of n minus 2 so but this formula is wrong why this formula is wrong because the same sequence can appear twice also i'll tell you with the example which i got confused in the co like contest also so the thing here is let's assume there you have five positions okay or like this five positions in one case you assume that when you are taking 5c2 you are considering all the cases in which like one nine is here one zero is here one nine is here and the other zero is like here but let's assume in this case in which you assume one nine is here and one zero is here you fill the other positions with all the post numbers such that you fill all the numbers with nine in this case in which you assume that you are fixing nine and zero in this position so this is one sequence when you are assuming nine and zero is fixed like this now what you'll do uh, you are taking one zero here and put other than nine here you are fixing this and now you again have like 10 options to fill all these things so you you again make it 9 9 and 9 and now you can see that in both of these cases these 
sequence repeat so as you can see the sequence actually repeats itself and thus the total number increases so this uh, like method is wrong so now what you can have to do here is you find out the using some drawing so let's assume that you have n places and now for all those n places the total you just assume a total universe of all the sequences so you have n like n places so in n places you have 10 options to fill it here 10 options to fill it here just don't assume that anything uh, like anything else just assume that you have four places so 10 to the power of n total sequences you can form total number of sequences okay now take out a section from this this section means that a section in which there is a sequence such that there is no nine a sequence which doesn't have any nine it in it so this sequence doesn't have any nine it in it so it can be such that there are five positions and a sequence can be like zero one two three and four it doesn't have any nine and like many other sequences now take out another sequence or another set from this whole universe such that in this set there is no zero in it all the sequences which doesn't have any zero in them like this sequence can, ha can have nine in it but doesn't have any zero in them so there are five positions let's assume one two three four and nine this sequence is valid in this okay but now why i'm taking this intersection okay this intersection will consist of all those like sequences which do not have nine as well as which do not have zero i hope you understand because this sequences consist of all the sequence which doesn't have any nine this set will consist of all the sequence which doesn't have any zero and this set will consist of the sequence which doesn't have any nine as well as don't have any zeros and the rest of this place will consist of all the sequences which have at least one nine and one zero because i have encapsulated all the sequences which doesn't have any nine and doesn't have any zero in this two sets and thus all the remaining sequence will have at least one nine and one zero okay so now i have to find out ju just this position so how you can find out this position you just take out the full set the full universe is 10 to the power of 9 okay this set is when you don't have any 9 in it if you don't have any 9 in it you and you have like n positions you can fill all the positions with 9 possible numbers because you don't want to fill 9 in it so you have all the sequences which doesn't have 9 so it's 9 to the power of n and same for this you have five positions and you want to fill out these five positions such that it doesn't have any zero in it so it is 9 to the power of 9 so now you want to remove these two circles or these two sets from this whole universe so it's like 10 to the power of 9 minus 10 like 10 to the power of n minus 10 to the power of 9 and 9 sorry 9 to the power of n and then but you have double uh, subtracted this middle portion in this set and this set so you have to add this set which is the, the possible sequences which do not have nine as well as do not have any zero so which means that you have a constraint on two numbers so now you can fill all the n positions with eight numbers possible so it's an eight to the power of n so now you have to add this because you have subtracted it twice so you have to add it one more time so it's n eight to the power of n so that's the answer for this question you can use a custom uh, like mod function which will like mod it with uh, m value which is 10 to the power of 9 plus l i have made a separate video on how to write down these functions a mod function okay sorry yeah mod function add function multiply function so what you can easily do here is if uh, this is the mod mod power function which take the input of a and b and return out like a to the power of b mod m then this is the solve function if n is equal to 1 these are just two small cases i have written down if n is equal to 1 then the answer is 0 if n is equal to 2 then the answer is 2 so i have written down these two values but for other value what you will do you will find out so what you will do you will do mod power of 10 to the power of n and what you will do again do you will add this value of you will add these two terms 10 to the power of n plus 8 to the power of n and then you subtract 2 into 9 to the power of n so what you will do you will add first mod power of 10 to the power of n and 8 to the power of n and then you will multiply 2 into mod power of 9 to the power of n and then you will whole mul minus both of these terms and that's the answer 
I hope you understand the logic for all the three questions. If you still haven't, I'll mention down. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.